All available experts, please report to room A9. Hey yeah, guys, Exo here. Today I'm going to be going with the module called Butterflies. The module will have six butterflies on it, and we're going to either be alphabetizing them by either their, their normal common name or their scientific name. Let's see which one we should be using here. If the last digit of the serial number is odd, it is not. So we're going to be using their scientific name rather than their common name. The scientific name is the one in italics down here. The, the common name is the one above it. You can also just work this out by... The one that sounds more e close to English, like American Copper and Grizzled Skipper, are the common names. And there's stuff like... Neophasia Tolute is the scientific name. So we're going to be using the scientific names here. So let's let's find these butterflies. So we have Ever Res Comi Quintas. I am going to apologise in advance, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of all of these. But I'm going to try my best. <laughs> Antho Charis. Sithura. We have. Do we want these two look very similar? But they all have distinct enough features to differentiate themselves between each other. So this one is the Limin. Liminitis. Artemis. We have the one I pointed out earlier. So, Bay Area. Cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. Diana. We have this one, which is the Lycoria Halia. And finally, we have this one. Helioconius Heliconius Charithonia I normally put numbers next to these just so I remember which order these were in when we rearrange them in alphabetical order so it's pretty in alphabetical order now so this one's going to be the first one, followed by this one, this one, uh, this one is L-I, this one's L-Y, and this is S. So we're going to be pressing the butterflies in order of 2, 1, 6, 3, 5, 4. Oh yeah, it's our module. Let's do this one, one more time. Since the serial number didn't change, we're going to be again using the scientific names. So instead of using Zebra Snow Swallowtail for this first one, we're going to be using the Eurydides Marcellus. We have... Lysania Cupria. We have Megisto Simella. We have Fatus Polydamus. We have Nymphilis Milberti. Finally, we have Closine Janae. Again, I'm going to number these so I don't forget. Oh, 
of course, I understand that this module is a lot more difficult on voice bombs because you would have to describe these as well as you can and ha give different differentiation between stuff like like the Spayaria and Diana and the limited earthlings from the last one or ones like these two are very similar <laughs> but the, that's the sort of general gist of this the module is you have to find a way to communicate these to make it obvious Thankfully, it's not overkill, like... Well, oh, not really overkill. At least there are only this many. Not like some of the identification ones that have a lot. And you can't really plan anything out. This one... You probably still can't plan it out, but... It's a lot more bearable. These two are going to also be very... Mean, but... Anyway, let's continue with this. So let's... Advertise these again. Batters comes first, close hand comes next. <laughs> In the cases that we have the same name word starting both of them, like these two Spayeri ones, you go to the next word. In basic advertising rules. So next we have E. This one's slightly easier than the previous one because we have six distinct letters. These actually stay in the same order. So this time we're going to be pressing four, six, one, two, three, four. Like I said, this module is definitely like five times more difficult than voice buttons. But you could, you can figure out ways of communicating the, these butterflies. Like you could say, like this one has very distinct circles on it. There is, but the difference in this one, you could say that the red tick things at the top here, that this one doesn't have. For this, these two, you can mention the black lines here. For these two, you can see that the yellow runs down into the middle rather than just around the outside, and so on. But hopefully you understand how butterflies works now, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.